Destination Daytona, they changed the name, I, don't, I forgot what it's called. But. That flathead, these shovels, and he does, he races them. So we're starting the journey to Miami from there. We're gonna pick up the Heritage and ride up to Daytona. Just finished uh, dinner. I'm on my way to Miami and to Daytona. It's a 13 hour, 13 and a half hour flight to Daytona, not to Daytona, to Miami. And then I'm picking up the bike and heading over. Gonna meet John, Cycle Fanatics, and Rob. Be the boss of your motorcycle. Gonna hang out, it's gonna be lots of fun. It's pretty much middle of the night right now. This year I decided instead of riding down, it, my schedule worked out perfectly for me to take a flight destination Daytona from Israel. I took a flight, I'm taking a flight to Miami. Miami, taking a train up to my parents, gonna visit them for an hour. Then we're gonna go and pick up a bike, a heritage that I, I took for three days and ride up to Daytona. I'm gonna spend time in Daytona, just like two, three days over there, and then head back down to Miami to grab my flight and fly the airplane. This airplane, fly it back, fly, flying over New York, over New York and continues uh, further south to Miami. And to our right is uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island. That's New Jersey, this is Sandy Hook. I don't know if you can see. Kennedy Airport is right here, this area. That's Manhattan, can you see it? That's the tip. Central Park. Air Canada 091, clear at closing. GW, bridge Air right Canada there. Air Canada, Air We're in uh, Myrtle Beach area. The Carolinas right there, can't really see anything. The moon is out and the sun is gonna shine very soon. That's the way to go down to Daytona. Very strange. Sun, sunrise behind us and the moon is still right there. Full moon, almost full moon. Okay, heavy reduced speed to two one zero. Miami, the one should be two six. Five hundred. Approaching minimums. Minimums. I'm going 37, 8, 3, cross from my one. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, This is the bike, right? That's it. Oh, nice. So I just picked up the bike from RMM uh, Motorcycles. Literally just took it out of the, around the corner, that's where they park it. Uh, that's their garage. So gonna ride it over, load it up at my parents' house, 
and head over ride to Daytona. There's a, a SpaceX is launching today, two, uh, two thirteen p.m. Hopefully, I can be on the road and maybe close enough to see it and uh, grab some footage. So I'm gonna head up uh, right now. Stay along for the ride. I'm gonna review it. It's my first time actually on a Heritage. It's a one fourteen. Great pickup, great engine. It's got like 9,000 miles on it. It's a 21. I'm really excited to ride it. Okay, I'm all packed up. I am only going for two nights, so I have all my essentials, a toothbrush and a pair of underwear. That's all I need. And I got my, uh, like, I don't know. Yeah, this is where the toothbrush is at. I got uh, motorcycle stuff and camera gear and uh, cameras set up over here. I'm gonna say goodbye to my parents now and head, uh, hopefully I can get the SpaceX, uh, get to see the SpaceX uh, launch. Oh, yeah. Look at them, they're going wild, these guys, they're going wild. <laughs> You'll probably <be laughs> see it on the way. Head into Daytona, Daytona bound. Okay, I had to stop because uh, the launch is gonna happen. It's like 60 miles from here. It's supposed to be somewhere over there. I had to stop on the way. So I'm trying to get the footage, but I'll take the time uh, to tell you what I feel, uh, how I feel uh, about the bike up till now. Bike is very, very comfortable. Riding position, but it's definitely a wobble that comes because of- That's a nice looking bike and it is. That's it, I'm just uh, waiting for uh, for the launch, should be coming up over there. Wait a few more minutes, if we don't see it, I'll head, uh, I'll just continue the ride, because you never know. I just checked online, it says 213, it's now 216, so. I just filled up the tank. It, uh, it accepted four gallons, and I was on reserve, and it showed that I had another 45 uh, miles to go, so I guess I had like one gallon in the tank, and another four over here, so it's a five gallon tank, I think. I thought it was a five and a half, but whatever. It's a nice, comfortable, very Cadillac kind of feeling bike ride. Like a boat. made it 250 miles about all I can say is after 250 miles they're just a f the bike is beautiful I would do very few things out of the box maybe add not maybe add crash uh, an engine guard with highway pegs and I would change the seat just because I want a backrest but otherwise the bike is perfect ready to ready to the tour long long haul as well it's a very comfortable bike let's get checked in 
people the people that know nothing about Harley just stop me and ask me what bike this is and they just they think it's a beautiful bike and I agree it really is beautiful just checked in it's a very nice hotel here's another room that I probably won't be using it's just not enough uh, weights for me wow by the parking spot there's some beautiful bikes you gotta see this So impressive. The guy built, the same guy built all three bikes. That flathead, these shovels, and he does, he races them. Really cool. edition over here anniversary CVO Road King special hey good morning guys drinking a, a morning coffee just woke up just you know making sure the bikes are okay and when you look at it, all of a sudden I realize how, but what a size difference between the two bikes. Look at the soft tail compared to a touring chassis. Look how smaller the bike looks. Look at this, look at the heritage. Okay, it's a small bike. And, and look at the touring, look at the road glide. Well, then we compare side by side, you realize this, how how bigger the road light is. Finished our gour gourmet breakfast. Gonna head over to uh, Destination Daytona. They changed the name. I, don't, I forgot what it's called, but and then go to the racetrack. I have one day, like one full day over here, so get the most of it. Winter's coming. In the background, you hear the practice for the race. We're practicing right now. But let me show you. This is the new Rebel bagger. I'm seeing it first time. The bags are really small, but it's it's good looking bike. I'll tell you that. Absolutely good looking bike. This is a sweet looking bike. Look how happy this guy is. <laughs> Should I get it? Should I pull the trigger? <laughs>
Main Street, right there. Grab a spot and we'll go live. Show the bikes that are that are riding by, passing by. Leaving them the remote for the TV. We're not going to be using it. What? <laughs> he doesn't like that. Then uh, we're going to split up. John is going. Very to... interesting. I know. Uh, <laughs> John is going to split. I'd watch it. <laughs> we Uga got Chaka. Chaka. Uga Chaka. <laughs> got two uh, two views. One me, one him. Uh, he's going to go northbound. He's heading up to New Jersey. I'm going back to uh, Miami to return the bike. We are loaded, ready to go. 250 miles ahead and 1,050 ahead to New Jersey. Let's see who gets there first. Nice uh, 200 mile ride. Thank you guys, hope you enjoy this one. My Daytona 2023 trip. You can do it anywhere you want. Last year. Shut up. Last year we did it with the auto train and then rode down. This year we d I did it. John came down riding the whole way back and forth. I did it the executive way. Flew down, I flew my own airplane down to Miami. Miami rented a bike and hit it up to Daytona. It's not about how you get down here, it's about the experience itself. People fly, people trail their bikes, people ride their bikes. It's all about, shit, all about making noise. It's all about the experience, the Daytona experience. If you haven't been to Daytona, make sure you, you go next year. It's a really, Great, a great time. Every every possible bike, any possible uh, vehicle that has two wheels comes down here and just enjoys the atmosphere. That's it. Hope you enjoy this one, guys. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Back home. It's been a long eight days away with Israel, Daytona, back here.